Hello there everyone, this is Neca Knight here, get ready to play The Infected. So I'll catch you up on what I've been doing, as uh, most of you know. I've both mostly just been putting in all my foundations or ceilings so that I can get everything here done. I think I have everything set up. I think when the uh, update went over to whatever you call it, live branch, it reset one of my tree cutting uh, things, as you can see, right there. Also, if you guys end up enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe, because my goal is, by December, to have 500 subscribers, whether or not I make it there for a birthday present, who knows? Anyways, today we're going to pretty much just be running around doing quite a bit of stuff, we'll be going to the mine to pick up some materials and other fun stuff we're gonna also be getting some more another one of these set up and i think i need to set up a second control uh, junction box so i can separately turn on and off the pumps versus these so right here we have at least 300 coins worth of uh trader value here I'm going to have to convert it all into fishing bait, but uh, we'll get to that. Right now I want to get batteries, solar panels, and a couple other things. Which I went ahead and kind of already pre-grabbed a bunch of crud in the process. That way I can be prepared. Uh, first let's get the these. Because I want to make sure I can guarantee power. And then we can move on to these, which I think I'm just missing copper, which I should have plenty of. And this is partly why I want more power, as you can see here, and why I want uh, storage. Because as you can see here, I have enough to run my uh, pump or one of my, uh, what do you call it, these. So that's kind of why I want to get this up and running, because this will be at least another two, four, another 40 power during rainy days like this. Here's one, two, uh, we're a little short there, we're a little short there, thankfully I still have more, I think. Uh, I think that one, yeah, we're going to have to definitely run to the mines because for this one, we're missing one cobalt, which I don't have, and we're also going to need some more cobalt for these uh, setups here. I also want to get this set going. That way I can actually... Alright, so electrical, electrical, just need a bunch of electrical, which we do have. And we don't have enough power there. Uh, one suggestion I have for the power, though, is uh, this. As you can see, there's a relay here and a relay here. These are... Mm -hmm. I'm a little confused what the hell is going on here with that but either way you and there's a switch so an idea that I had is let's say we put a switch to this relay now let's uh, so if I flip this switch this it's not connected I'm just uh, using as an example but let's say I flip it and uh, it should cut off power traveling from this relay to here but not from here back because it's connected to here. This means it should cut off the power to that, which would also give more value to the switches because then people could be uh, set up one control panel and then just throw a bunch of switches all over the place and then sort of start flipping things on and off. At least that's my opinion on this. Anyways, Let's gather up the rest of the materials that we may need. Uh, what the hell? All oh, right, electrical parts. Uh, oh, 
I may not actually have... Oh. Oh boy. We've got the electrical parts for there, which I, that's what I want. And... Ah, dang it. We're gonna have to go out and start looting, it looks like. Look, nuggets. Alright, well, let's throw that in there, and then we need to grab the iron, which I should have plenty of. We'll throw down the aluminum. I'll have to start making some iron ingots. Uh, or not. Iron ing Actually, I may have to make some iron ingots. Yeah, okay. Which we have plenty of, I think, to do. Especially since I now have, uh, like, a good uh, source of iron coming in. What was it? Oh, right. I gotta turn this like this. And then we'll throw this into here. The reason why I'm getting this uh, up... Actually, I should have focused on these first. Uh, we could take this, but I want to use it all for crafting. So let's actually get a bunch of fishing bait crafted and all that. We can no longer carry vehicles on, or not vehicles, but uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, you know the box... We can no longer carry the box uh, with the ATV. Eh, kind of figured that was going to happen, but hey. Also, I probably should make some more armor because uh, I'm I'm still not the best, especially when it comes to fighting on camera. Because I'm my goal is to try and rush through, so that way you guys aren't like watching a shield in front of the camera for like eight minutes, twenty minutes, forty minutes. Oops. Okay, so we're just gonna start making a bunch of fish and bait. Now, the reason why I'm so like fish and bait, fish and bait, is because if you look at what it takes to make uh, fish and bait versus making cement, cement or however the hell you wanna call it, requires you to have a mixer. It also requires you to have a well, actually, it does not require you to have a uh, clay extractor. So, I guess it requires you to have power. Yeah, it requires you to have power, and it requires you to have uh, several electronics and other fun stuff to get it going. On top of that, it takes, uh, what is it, Elec uh, not electrical. Uh, I lost my train of thought on that, but it still, it takes quite a bit of time, and quite a bit of effort, all that fun stuff. Uh, for now, we'll put this out. Basically, concrete is mid-game uh, money maker, something you want to start uh, making money off of once you actually get a decent amount of power. However, I have not actually calculated what's faster fishing bait or uh, cement because uh, you're gonna have to depending on how you set up uh, you're gonna need what is it uh, if you want to automate it you're gonna need extractors you're gonna need a few other things and oh I didn't realize these were gonna take cobalt oops yeah, we definitely need to make a pit stop. Uh, but no, it's, it's getting late. Alright, well, for now, let's just make a bunch of fishing bait, which means... Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. But yeah, fish, the concrete, as you can see here, takes 
stone and clay. If you want to automate it, you're going to need to set up a mineral extractor and clay soil extractor, which means you're going to need to have biofuel ready for both of these. Since you cannot actually store, uh, since the oil pump does not work on clay extractors, you have to continue providing uh, stuff for that. However, for the uh, if you want to automate uh, the mineral the ingots, you're gonna want the mineral extractor, which you can put on a, a pump. And if you get, let's say, well, actually. I think you only need one and then you can start using a brick forge. But if you want to speed up the efficiency, you're going to want to place down a uh, stone grinder. If you can place down a stone grinder, you're getting uh, four fragments every 50 seconds. Which is, uh, actually I don't know if that's faster than cooking on a forge. But it's uh, automated and it runs on power. So it all depends on how you want to do this because a mixer it takes three minutes to make ten cement, which in that time, uh, twenty five and twenty five is fifty, fifty is a hundred, uh, hundred and fifty. So roughly. 50, 50, 50, 150. So roughly in the same amount of time, you get two, four, six, eight, roughly eight fragments. That's almost uh, half a stack. So it looks like the mixer might actually be faster. But as I said, this is for when you actually get power set up because you're going to need electrical, mechanicals, iron, screws, uh, you're going to need solar panels and uh, wind turbines. Well, actually, you don't really need those. But in a control panel, junction panel, you're going to need quite a bit of all this to set it up for that to automate it. Which the same thing for if you plan to put uh, the oil pump. But the difference is you can speedily grab materials from that versus this uh, anyways crafting this is the other advantage is you can simply just boop and done and then as you can see here I still have a ridiculous amount of feathers and not really the amount of sticks, which I can easily get more of those, but this is the other reason why I was like, do this, because you you don't need a bench, you don't need a crafting bench or anything else. If you're simply cooking stones and mining stones with your pick, you can simply just make a bunch of this very, very quickly. As you see here, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stacks so far. And uh, I just need to get a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, sticks. So once I get a bunch of more sticks, we can actually continue to do that. that that's the other thing is uh, you can get sticks simply just by harvesting these. And, uh, boom. Oop, don't destroy. And if you've got Mike uh, fetching stuff for you, it's even faster because he, he can uh, fetch the logs for you. You can harvest the logs and then, boom, you've got automated sticks practically. The only thing that won't be automated uh, will be uh, bird feathers because you'll have to actually hunt those, uh, but still, this is actually a pretty nice way to do this. Ah, flip nuggets, that's right there. Uh, 
I do hope we can get some angles so that way we can put uh, walls across the diagonals here because I would like to make some straight uh, methods to get to the thing. And today, oh yeah, that's the other thing is I'm planning to actually uh, outline my structure because, like I said, I got, oh, we're full. And uh, we're not full, but close enough. Oops. There's that, and now... Woo, that was spinning at high speed. Now, I don't know if there's going to be an attack or not. They, it seems to be a 20% chance to happen, as far as I can tell. It is getting close to winter. We're going to sleep. Basically, I'm just going to skip until the morning. That way, I can actually start powering everything up. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a drain on my stats, but it's better in the long run. Because I can start setting up this crud. Woohoo! Power available and we've got power stored. But if you get Mike, you can have automated uh, stone gathering like this. If you get stone extractors, you can have that automated uh, that way. And then from there, you just simply rely on getting these. And ta-da! And we need 10 iron fragments, but that's going to be in a little bit. I need to finish crafting these because I want to hurry up and go to the trader and buy some of the decorations because we're actually to the point I need to start uh, decorating really or start outlining. Speaking of, oop, we're full. Dang it. I didn't realize I was going to be out of feathers. But as you can see, pretty quick, pretty easy. They stack up to 25. One entire box gets you and a 300 coins. And as you can see, they sell for 0.3 per uh, stack or per, not stack, but per piece. See, 0.3 for one. And dang it, uh, I was hoping to have more feathers. One way to get feathers is simply to hunt birds. Speaking of, I need to actually, I, oh, I didn't realize I had more feathers here. We're going to also need one of these. Actually, I think two of those, no, maybe three. We'll find out. I'm going to start working towards getting a bow and arrows, which I should have all of that. And I should actually check it to double check. I, I had a bear come and attack, so I had to kill it. And uh, I already had a deer on my rack, so yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I actually should make a f bow. But I can find feathers pretty easily. Anyways, what was it? One, two of these and one of these? Nope. What was the recipe? Ah, two rope. And for a bow, I think it was three sticks and a rope? You know what? We'll just bring out a bunch of that. Alright, so we must need it on here. There we go. There's a chicken, which means I can actually get feathers from that. So I need to go and hunt that down. Whee! And there's a bird I could have hunted for some feathers, but eh. There you are. Come here, chicken! 
Thank you for running to me. And as you can see, uh, when you kill feather birds, you get about an average of five to eight feathers, which is actually quite a bit, and will help you. All right, I think we need to grab some sticks, some bows, some arrows. This way we can actually start shooting things. And since bone arrows never actually break, you can actually use them as long as you don't lose them uh, forever. Uh, I may make the crossbow because supposedly uh, some people are saying it's actually pretty decent. Whether or not it is, I'll have to test that out myself. Because the last time I tried it, it was six shots to a croc for a bow. And it was six shots to a croc with a crossbow. So both of those were just like equal power, equal damage. And it was just like, ew, no. That was horrible. And dang it. Alright, I put it in here. I do wish we had a fifth slot. Maybe even a sixth slot here. That would be really, really appreciated. But at the same time, I can understand it's to make you have to choose your weapons and equipment and all that fun stuff. But still, there's that. And then we need to grab some things because I'll make about five arrows. And I think we need advance for that. No, no, I don't think we need that. Okay, I'll have to check out the recipe because apparently I forgot it. Uh, trank, bone, oh, feather and rope. Uh, I have bone, I have feather, I have... Bone? Rope, feather, I guess we'll, uh, we're going to need a couple more. We got a lot of bones here, which I need to go sell. I have eaten one of these. I actually should probably go to the market and sell. What I'm waiting or hoping to eventually see is some other items, uh, I'll probably wrench in this in another episode, but I would like to see a sewing bench. It works, let's say, exactly like this. The difference is, is you come up to it and you hit use or E on it or hold E or whatever. And you'll see the little, like how this, uh, how you see that spin, uh, the sewing machine, you'll see it go Da -da 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 like whatever the uh, uh, in other words like a mo sewing machine you just see it go up and down up and down uh, like it's uh, repairing stuff all right cursor we needed We have four, sweet. So we can use that to hunt. Now let's get back to making the fragments and other fun stuff. And this is a uh, part of why I want to get the second one going, because, and why I want to get power going which we need cobalt so i'm gonna have to make a drive up there for cobalt and we're gonna have to hunt birds on the way all right we're almost 
300 coins. We're gonna not make it because that. But eventually we'll be there. I didn't realize feathers was gonna be what's holding me back. Oops, too many fragments. Actually, you know what? We'll put the feather thing on hold for now. We're gonna actually need to go and make a run to the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the mine, so we can pick up anything, any cobalt, any aluminum, any crud. Uh, we're also going to need to get some other fun stuff. And uh, yeah, all right. And then once uh, we get that, I guess I can call it an end of the episode. And there's Mike gathering that uh, I think next episode I'll try and hit the trader uh, at least to sell stuff and then start buying some of the decorations realistically what I want is the endurance runner and the uh, generator those are the two things I want the most I might go for the generator instead that way I can guarantee 350 power which means my oil pump and two stone extractors will be going at all times and then from there we can uh, continue to increase so during the day we can have a day set going and uh, at night we can have a night set uh, going so that way we're constantly producing iron fragments and then from there we can produce a bunch of fish and bait but I will have to hunt and I will have to loot feathers because I don't think I'm going to get enough. Um, onk, we need to go on the other side of this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Feathers. Mine. If you see what I mean between like five and eight. There's seven feathers right there. <laughs> seven feathers. That's a gambling place. All right, let's hurry up and over here. Well, woo, I need to, I really wish we could build a path. That's something I hope we can eventually get the ability to do. Uh, the entrance is over here. I put these here so that way I can see where the entrance is. This is kind of like what I want. I, I want to build a path. All right. What are we at? Decent amount. Decent amount. We aluminum might be doing pretty doing pretty good on. I need to get another extractor in, in here. I need to have one, two, three, four, at least four extractors. With uh, two being iron, two being aluminum, two being uh, copper, and one, and then I need a fifth one for cobalt because cobalt you don't really need a whole lot of. You do need it, but other than oh, there's a wolf. Uh, sadly, that doesn't give me feathers. Otherwise, I might have hunted it. All right, let's get back. I'm still getting used to the pathway to the uh, where I need to go. I might just put down a bunch of fences, clear out the rocks, and then uh, just build a little pathway to here towards from here that I can follow that I know is a clear path. But like I said, I, the reason why I, if I remember correctly, you can turn tree grows off. But I don't want to turn tree growth off because I need the trees to respawn so I can continue the build. Otherwise, my entire place is going to be deforest. And if it's deforest, eh, it's not going to look so good. And if it doesn't look good, then we're going to be in big trouble. Oh, we're going way off. We need to make a left over this way. Hi, goat. I'm gonna avoid you because I can't ram you. Whee. 
but I am loving the way this is turning out. I uh, I think I'll place down the railings uh, uh, for my end screen outro thingy. Uh, actually, let's pull around. Now that we actually, I'm not gonna have enough cobalt. I'm gonna have to wait again because. One, two, three, four. That's one solar panel. One, two, three, four. That, if it was four, that's two solar panels. And then we'll take the copper. And then can we squeeze? Nope. Okay. So we'll come up, throw the cobalt in here. We'll have power. We'll have a few other things once we get more power. We're gonna also get this going, which I'm gonna speed up the process. Although that also means I'm gonna, oops, nope, nope. We want cobalt first and then uh, copper and then aluminum. Well, actually we want iron. You know what? We'll start using some of the iron uh, that we have st fragments. Because right now, feathers are kind of holding me back. I didn't realize it was going to take so many feathers. Alright. So, now that I can guess roughly... So we can see how many feathers... I'm going to have to look through my video again to see how many feathers it's taken. But... Hmm, that's a sheep way out there. I almost thought I saw some bambies or uh, vam vampires and werewolves back out there somewhere, but nope, just my imagination. Alright, for now I'm going to start placing down the uh, railings outlining my uh, thing here. So... If you guys enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, I understand. Not much happened other than a lot of talking and getting a lot of uh, things prepared for the next episode. But still. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and, subs and subscribe. If you didn't, I understand. Maybe next time or maybe a different game. But anyways... If you guys want to see more of this series, check out the end screen credits. And if you want to see other games I play, make sure to check out my channel. I do play other games in the process. And if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain period of time, I'll add you on. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed and you come back for more. And let's see if next episode we can have everything prepared for a trader visit. So... Bye-bye.